Hi everybody, I am here again to continue our course of our notes application in Quasar. So in this video, uh, before we start to code, I want to show you the directory structure of our project. So I opened the folder generated by the project here in my, my uh, code editor. I am using the Visual Studio code, you can use whatever you want, if you want to uh, use Sublime or WebStorm, whatever you want. And let's see what we have here. We have the folder .quasar. These folders are used uh, for automatically generated files. We don't need to we don't need to put attention on this folder. Uh, the node modules folder is a folder where all the, all the dependencies of our project are installed as you can see here, there is a lot of dependence. All the dependence are configured previously here in this package JSON. Here we have some dependencies. We have four dependence and one dev dependence, but this dependence have has they has another dependence. So this is because of that that we have a very very uh, large amount of dependence. And we have also the folder public. This folder can be used for every type of content that we wanna make public in our in our application. Um, we have already the folder SRC that is the source code folder. We have the f inside this folder is where we are uh, we are going to to touch to create files, components and everything. So the first folder we have here is the folder assets. Inside this folder we we will have every type of assets like image uh, and after we have the folder boot. The folder boot is is a folder that has uh, scripts and files that are runned when our application starts. So here we have an example that's the library of the internationalization. When my application starts I need to get what is the configured language and uh, start my application using this language. Yeah. So we can do this for another things. By example, if I have a database connection that I need to open when my application starts, I can create a new file here and start the connection here. So this this is what the folder this folder we're making for. We have another folder that is the components folder. Here in this in this folder we will have components that we can use in different pages. Here we have an example with our application that is the essential link. Uh, this uh, component supports parameters so we can use it a lot of times. Another folder that we have is the CSS folder. is the folder for styles for CSS files in your application. We have the folder in the for for internationalization. Here we have already configured the English language. We are going to add here the Portuguese and the Spanish. We have another folder for layout layouts. So layouts is what the, the name says. Uh, it's for the menu, the toolbar, the, everything that is fixed in different pages. We are going to put here in this folder. That this will be our layout. We have our the the folder pages. This is a very important folder because we will be here that we are going to to put the the page here we have already configured the index uh, view full uh, page this is the the home page and the not found page is already configured here we have another folder that is the rotor the rotor folder can be used uh, to configure the rotor so the if i it's for, for the, the address. By example, I have in my browser, uh, let, let me see, uh, my, my app.com 
and the router I I want to configure ah, I want to send this route for for a place this another route for another place so this uh, this folder is used for for that and I have another folder that store is a folder that can be used for the view X I think this folder is already using here to the internationalization and we have here a file that is very important that is the app view is the, the, the in this file is where our application starts and now we have another things here some other configuration files one configuration file that we have here that is very 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 important is the quasar config.js in this file uh, is where we are going to configure quasar and in here we can configure the, the boot files as I had show you we ha we can configure extra some extra some build configurations some dev server configurations uh, some framework configurations add plugins and we can also configure Quasar for the different platforms that we are, that we are going to to build our application by example here I have a configuration for PWA that is the process web apps we have a section for configurations for Cordova for Capacitor, Electron and for Builder, no, Builder is something that was inside uh, Electron so this video is just that I think in the next video we can start really really start coding so thank you so much for watching and bye bye